connection. For today's guest, I bring to you the beautiful squirrel, who is an animal that most people are familiar with. The leap and bound and scamper throughout the trees in the forests and especially the little ones known as the red squirrels are very bold for their size they display no fear and I used to live in an area that had a lot of forest and I had the pleasure of having gray squirrels, which are much larger, as well as the smaller red squirrels. And they would travel throughout the forests around the house every day. They would have their routines where they would look for food, play with each other, chase each other. And I was always so amazed by how fearless they are. Whether they were foraging for food, chasing a mate, or chasing someone else out of their territory, or running away from perceived danger, or just playing with each other, they would leap to branches that to me seemed so much further than what they could reach and yet they would always make it. They were just so focused on achieving those leaps that they didn't even hesitate. They just went for it and just kept going as if it was nothing to them. And they really display this amazing ability to do things without fear, without hesitation, with absolute focus on their goal. And they just go for it with always the same amount of energy. And it's just such a beautiful, teaching for us as human beings to allow ourselves to pursue things when we have a clear inspiration or idea or goal that we know we must achieve to then release any doubts or worries about the how or little fears that might come up and to just go for it and know that that momentum is more powerful than your fear itself and so this is our invitation for you today to look back to a time when you were a child because most of our fears are actually acquired throughout life from other people and others experiences they're not even our own and as children we do things fearlessly and we invite you to think back of a time when you did something absolutely fearlessly that seemed so extraordinary when you think about it now from your perspective as an adult. It could have been that you played with an animal that in general it's seen as very dangerous or you did something that didn't take time at all. It was done in a very short amount of time compared to what we think the amount of time should be to accomplish that. Or you just simply did something that seemed superhuman to you now that you think back to it. We were able to do things that were really so amazing because 
we didn't have the doubt of whether we could do it or not. We just went for it. And I remember even myself as an example, this was when I lived on the east coast of Canada in my early 20s. And I was at the beach and I was playing with the jellyfish. I thought they were so precious, these little pink jellyfish. And I was bouncing them on my hands and playing with them in the water. I had no idea that they could sting you until I was telling this to someone later about what a great time I had in the ocean playing with these jellyfish. And I was told that they have these very painful stings and she couldn't believe that I had done that. And so I could have acquired that seed of fear after that of, oh, jellyfish sting and I shouldn't do that. Or I could just release that and just be grateful that I had that experience without fear. And so we would love for you to think back to a time when you had that fearlessness, when you accomplished something, and really tune in to that feeling of incredible empowerment for accomplishing that. And if you find yourself in a situation now or in the near future where you might feel some hesitation or worries or doubts or any other resistance that fears can disguise themselves as and apply this fearlessness to it, infuse that experience with that energy, that beautiful knowing that you had of feeling so empowered that nothing can stop you and see what happens when you apply that same innocent fearlessness to this experience. That's the power of fearlessness. We're able to accomplish things that otherwise might seem impossible. And that's the way of the heart. Thank you for watching. If you enjoyed this video and know others who might benefit from it, do share. Wherever you are on our beautiful Mother Earth, I send you 